All right, welcome back to Truck Stuff. Eh, check this out. You guys are now on our brand new 8K camera. I figured out how to set it to 8K. Let's see if this is going to be anything better. If nothing else, at least this will do 4K V30, which is fantastic because I have the SD cards for that. The GoPro doesn't seem to like to work on it. I don't know why. Maybe something wrong with the formatting. But either way, this should work a lot better. So comment below what you think of the film quality, better or not. But anyway, we're up here at the shop today, shooting on the big 8K camera, because we need to cover one important thing. Get the super jank to crank. That's what we're going to be working on today. Let's do it. So first of all, I got you guys there on the GoPro for the overhead shots. And then this camera will be right here. See, now this way I can also talk to the camera and instruct you guys while you guys can also see from the overhead shot and see what my hands are doing at the same time. I don't have to stop, reposition, reset up everything all at once. It's just one straight filming. Maybe it'll be more of a pain in the butt during editing, but you know what? <laughs> it's pretty cool that we can do this. 8K over here and, well, 4K over there, at least 1080p if nothing else. Let's go ahead and let's get the GoPro cranked up here. We got our ohm meter here. We got our Haynes manual down here right by my face so we can go ahead and check on the exact readings that is called for in the manual itself and then that way we can actually figure out well are we tracking in the right direction let's get on it so first off we're gonna have to go ahead and set ourselves to ohm so we are going to be reading about 5,000 to 25,000 ohms then we'll have to pull our connector over here and then of course our control wire from here which this actually goes to the distributor itself Let's go ahead and get that guy pulled up. Now we're going to have to get this guy pulled up here. Which again is just this little tab here you have to lift up. And then you just kind of gently rock her out and that's it. Pretty straightforward. Good. The first one that we're going to be testing here is firstly we should read to infinity. Which is going to be from our 12 volt source going over to the ground into the body of the actual ignition coil. That should read ohms of infinity. So it should be basically hardly any resistance at all. Or no resistance at all, really. It doesn't give us an infinity reading. Let's see. So that does give us a reading there. Am I not doing this right? Maybe this part of the body here. Let's see. And it says to right there, to that part. Okay, we're just getting a one. Okay, well, let's we'll see again. So the next one we're going to be testing is going to be the position that's going to go from this part here to our actual power wire here. Now that should give us a reading of 0.1 ohm. 